The Our Watch logo and the Australian Local Government Association logo are on a white background. This video is a contemporary animation style using paper cut textures and shapes. We zoom through clouds clearing to show a map of Australia with a passenger plane flying across Australia while small groups of people slowly populate the continent. Across Australia, councils have the opportunity to foster inclusive communities where all people can access the support they need to thrive. We zoom into a diverse group of people with a range of genders, ethnicities, religions, physical abilities, uniforms and ages all standing facing the camera. The women in the picture all gradually fade to grey. But sometimes, council decisions can uphold gender inequality and limit women's ability to fully participate in community life. We transition to a woman in a business suit with a prosthetic leg standing in a shaft of light being cast through the doorway of a dark room. Speech bubbles filled with symbols representing hate speech directed at the woman appear in the doorway. We zoom into the woman's face and see that she has a sad expression. When women are not seen as equal, violence against them can be normalised and excused. But violence against women can be prevented. As the narrator says that violence against women can be prevented, the woman smiles. For women to be safe, they must be equal and respected. We transition to seven people of mixed genders sitting around a table. From above, we see a document on the middle of the table titled Council Plan. There are many areas where councils can make a difference. Councils can promote gender equality through their leadership, decision-making and policies across a wide range of areas. We zoom to the document and the pages start to flip open, one at a time. Each page has pictures representing different areas of community life. On the last page, we zoom into an image of a football field. Standing on the field, with their hands on their hips, are a line of men in uniform. Women in football uniforms start to appear intermittently between the male players. Two men appear at the end of the line, one in a suit, the other in an umpire's uniform. Across a wide range of areas such as infrastructure, events, youth and family services, libraries, sport and recreation. While women and girls' participation in sport is increasing, women remain underrepresented at all levels of sport, from players through to leadership and governance. Without equal representation, equitable behaviours and attitudes can't be achieved, on or off the field. We transition to a man and a woman sitting on a couch watching a woman playing AFL on their television. They smile as they watch. Councils can work in partnership with local sports clubs to develop cultures and policies that promote gender equality and respect. We zoom back onto a football field. A group of people in team uniform are sitting in a circle listening to a woman with a clipboard speaking. One person raises their hand to say something. When planning or upgrading recreational facilities, councils can consult widely to make sure these spaces are welcoming, family-friendly and accessible for everyone. We transition back to the seven people sitting around a table. From above, we see a document titled Emergency Management. Councils can also foster equality and inclusivity in other areas of community life, such as disaster response and recovery. However, emergency management processes may not consider the needs of all people in the community. Four empty seats appear at the council table. We zoom into the emergency management document, which opens to a page showing writing that says, planning meetings at child-friendly locations, support for victim survivors of domestic and family violence, accessibility considerations, and gender-neutral facilities. As rates of family and domestic violence increase during emergencies, emergency management committees should include violence prevention experts, women from diverse backgrounds, and people from a range of community organisations. This helps make sure the well-being and recovery of the entire community is supported. We pan up to see a small group of people from diverse backgrounds talking at the table. We zoom out and the background changes to represent different places in the community. First, a library, then a groundskeeper riding a mower, then a public swimming pool, then a rural community, a suburban community, and finally, a government building. As leaders in their communities, it's critical that council workplaces promote safety, 
respect and equality in their policies, their culture, and in the chamber itself. Councils can support staff to build knowledge and skills to promote gender equality and prevent violence against women. Even small changes can have a big impact. We zoom out to a laptop screen. Writing appears on the screen that reads, small change equals big impact. The screen transitions to showing the same seven people sitting around a table. The screen splits into three and shows some of the same characters from earlier in the video. By considering gender equality in decision-making, councils can foster thriving, equal and inclusive communities where everyone feels respected, valued and safe. The middle screen zooms out to show a group of people with diverse genders, ethnicities, religions, abilities, uniforms and ages standing together. To learn more, visit the Prevention Toolkit for Local Government and discover a range of actions your council can take to promote gender equality and prevent violence against women today. We transition to the Our Watch logo and the Australian Local Government Association logo on a white background. Underneath the logos is a URL reading localgov.ourwatch.org.au.